Just one year after installing a new OMU lithium 12 volt battery in my 2018 Tesla Model 3 long range rear wheel drive, I saw this on my screen. I'm frugal Tesla guy and I'm going to tell you why this happened and how I got rid of the error message. If you purchased an OMU lithium 12 volt battery for your Tesla Model 3 or Y prior to February 2022, then there is a good chance you have seen this message. And if you haven't, it may happen at any time. Now, before you panic, it's important to know that OMU has been aware of this since day one. They addressed it on their website with this article. And if you haven't read it, I suggest you do. As with any aftermarket product, it doesn't matter how good it is, and for the record, Omu is one of the good ones. It is susceptible to running into problems down the line as Tesla continues to push software updates to their cars. Omu is no exception, and for Model 3s and Ys that are on Tesla software version 2021.36.x and later, there is a chance they could see the error message I mentioned earlier. Now it turns out, Tessa has pushed out several new features with these software updates, and it appears to alter the way the vehicle utilizes the 12 volt battery. This is why some, not all, Model 3 and Model Y cars with an OMU battery are receiving the error message. Now what does this mean? Well, most likely there's nothing wrong with your battery at all, and there is a way to get rid of the error message, but unfortunately it's not a simple reboot. It will require a little work to get it done, but really isn't all that difficult. Now, if you installed your OMU battery on your own, then you'll be familiar with this process. Now, before we get started, I'm going to take you through the process I went through to get rid of the error message on my screen. Now, there are a few steps of the set guidelines on the OMU website that I skipped. So if you're a stickler for guidelines, then I recommend you check out each step. Now I started by opening all of the windows of the car, then opened all of the doors, and then opened the front to get access to the 12 volt battery. Now the reason I did this is because all of those require power. And once you disconnect the 12 volt and the high voltage battery, you won't be able to open the doors or open the windows or even open the front. Now the next step is to power off the car by tapping the car icon, safety, then power off. Next, I remove the upper trim panel in the front. Now this exposes the 12 volt battery where I disconnected the negative or the black terminal. Now be careful not to drop the lead spacer, which I did. I ended up having to take off the front boot to get access to the bottom pan of the car where I was able to reach in and get it. Also, make sure the terminal wire doesn't touch any metal on the car by wrapping in a towel or rag. Otherwise, the next step is to disconnect the high voltage battery, which is under the passenger side back seat. Now to access the connector, pull the lever on both sides to release the seat. Lift it up, remove the foam cover, which will expose the high volt battery connection. Disconnect it. Wait about 30 seconds and then plug it back in. Wait another 20 seconds and then reconnect the 12 volt battery. You'll need to tidy everything back up and reposition the back seat and push it down to lock it back into place. And last but not least, secure the top trim panel in the front.
Now at some point after reconnecting the power, the screen will turn back on. Now in my case, the error message was still there. However, after about 15 to 20 minutes later, it disappeared and has yet to come back. Well, is this a permanent fix? Well, only time will tell, but it has been about a month since I reset and haven't had any problems since. If the error message pops up again, I'll do the reset process again and contact OMU customer service to see if I'm a candidate for a free replacement. If it doesn't happen again, well, even better, and it's business as usual. Now, how about you? Do you have an OMU battery? If so, how has it worked out for you? I'd love to read your comments in the comments section below. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and stay positively charged.